Ruth waited for her Boaz. She wouldn't just settle for anybody. The Bible said Boaz was a handsome man, a rich man, a spiritual man, a sensitive man, and that equals a husband. You got to wait. You got to wait on your Boaz. Don't just settle. But, but if you're not careful when you go left and it's Friday night and you don't have a date and you're freaking out, I, I don't have a date. I, can, I, I, can, I didn't get married until I was 25. And you know, I just made a decision. I knew there was a call on my life. And I just said, I'm not going to go out and date just anybody and everybody. Because I know me. <laughs> Don't freak out because it's Friday night and you're in Saturday night and you're in church instead of the club. Boaz has some relatives, and if you don't watch it, you won't get the one God has for you. You'll get his relatives. To the girls, I found this on the internet. He has, Boaz is spelled B-O-A-Z. Everybody say B-O-A-Z. And so he's got some relatives called broke as, po as, lying as, cheating as, dumb as, drunk as, don't go out with him, cheap as, turn to somebody and say, I dated him. Locked up as, good for nothing as, lazy as, and especially his third cousin beating your ass. Wait on your Boaz and make sure he respects your ass. Now there's your word. You wanted a word? You got a word. Quit dating anything on two legs. Let God take you through some loneliness. Let God take you through the wilderness so that when they come, you'll be ready. I'm almost... I'm not even going to look back at Pastor Hagee. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even... I'm, I'm not, he asked me to come. That's his problem. 